During orientation, I was informed that if I participated in the bridge program, I would get the opportunity to go to the Indianapolis Reentry Educational Facility, better known as IREF. At IREF, we would take part in a program called Toastmasters, which is a public speaking program. I didn't know anything about IREF at that time, but I thought it would be a great experience because I don't know anyone else that gets to give speeches at a prison. Once bridge began and it was time for our first visit to IREF, I was a little nervous. I had no idea what to expect because everything I knew about prison was from what I had seen in movies and in the media. Once we got into the facility and through security, we walked through the courtyard to the chapel where the first meeting was held. When I first saw the residents, I didn't even realize that most of them were residents. They didn't look like the stereotypical prisoner you would see in movies because they were all dressed very professional, which is something I didn't expect. We did a wagon wheel as an icebreaker so we could meet all of the residents and get an idea of what we would be doing all semester. We also got the chance to tour the facility. The courtyard reminded me of a college campus with squirrels running around everywhere and their rooms were set up more like a dorm room instead of prison cells. The IREF experience helped me in J101 because I got to personally witness the things we were learning about in class. The first thing I noticed going into IREF was my implicit biases, which are unconscious attitudes or beliefs towards a certain group of people. I had gone into the prison thinking the residents were going to be covered in tattoos, wearing uniforms, and that they would be these intimidating men that I would never be able to have a conversation with. I quickly realized I had these biases and gave them the benefit of the doubt. Doing this allowed me to become more open-minded and view the residents from a different perspective. And from that, I learned I shouldn't be so quick to judge. During the first Toastmasters meeting, Greg gave a speech and talked about the food they receive at the prison. He explained how the food was cheap and unhealthy and that just because they're in prison doesn't mean they're any less human than the rest of us and they still deserve to be treated equally. Greg's speech altered my perspective on the criminal justice system and allowed me to become more open-minded with the things we learned in J101. IREF enhanced R110 because of the extra speaking opportunities I got through Toastmasters. When I found out I would have to give speeches at a prison, I was petrified. At the time, I couldn't have thought of anything more terrifying than giving speeches in front of the residents plus my peers. One speaking opportunity that I will never forget was when I began the Toastmasters meeting. The residents called me to the front of the room and handed me the gavel. They told me that once I had the gavel, I had complete power over the room. That sentence alone made me feel more anxious than ever before. I read the opening statement, led the Pledge of Allegiance, and introduced the president. I felt as if I had just done the impossible. A wave of relief came over me as I sat back down in my seat. But as I thought about it afterwards, I realized that it wasn't scary at all, and it's something I could do again. I believe Toastmasters is helping all of us, including the residents, become better public speakers and more confident in ourselves. We are helping the residents with their public speaking, which will allow them to have better chances at things like job opportunities and interviews when they get out. But they are also helping us in the same way and so much more. This experience has changed me personally, as well as my opinions on prisoners and reentry facilities. Reentry facilities can work as long as the residents are committed to it and put in the effort to become a better person for themselves and society. From the IREF visits, I have become more confident and open-minded. These qualities can help me in my career in the future because true confidence is a rare but amazing quality. And being open-minded can help you with just about anything, whether it's a job or even a new class that I'm taking. This experience has impacted me in a way I never thought was possible. It really brought me out of my comfort zone and allowed me to do things that I never would have imagined myself doing before going to IREF. Media portrays prisoners as terrible people who can do nothing good. And at one point, I believed this too, because it's so easy to believe what the media is telling you. But from personal experience, I can now say that most prisoners are not bad people. They're just people who have made some bad decisions. While I can use IREF as experience for future jobs, I will also continue to talk about it with my family and friends in hopes that it will open their eyes just as it did for me. From first learning about this experience to actually doing it, I have grown in so many ways. 
Toastmasters was a reciprocal learning experience between us and the residents, and I truly believe everyone got something great out of it. I believe taking the time out of our day to go to IREF and participate in this program definitely impacted the residents' confidence with the outside world. One of the residents even explained how much it means to them that we are a part of Toastmasters. IREF was an amazing experience that had a huge impact on me and is something I will never forget because it was once said, a mind that is stretched by a new experience can never go back to its old dimensions.